Hey, Bernie Lawrence, number one realtor here uh, from Lawrence Exchange. And I actually just heard that Jerry Springer has passed away at 79 today. Uh, he was actually the mayor of uh, Cincinnati for a while, but he was a huge, huge influence in the 1990s on TV and things like that. He even got into the movies. Uh, he didn't personally, but just the notoriety of him passed throughout. I remember he was in the uh, Austin Powers spoof. Uh, big, 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 big personality. Anyway, I just wanted to say um, condolences to his friends and family because uh, it's definitely a very sad thing. Uh, when someone passes and a sadder thing is also if they have a home that's not in a living trust if the home's not in a living trust then your home if it's not in a living trust and if you pass away and there's like a loan on it the lender's actually going to go to the people who live there and say hey um can you pay this home off or can you assume this loan and if the people you live with cannot then they're going to foreclose on the home and then they're going to kick out the people who live there or who stay there. To bypass all that, what you need to do is just get a living trust. Get a living trust. Put the home in a living trust so that when the home is in a living trust, it's actually like a separate thing from you. So when you go, the home still stays intact and there's actually an executor, someone who delegates exactly what happens to the home. Uh, most of the time, since heirs really like money, they'll sell the home and at least they'll have some money left over from the home rather than getting kicked out of it. If you need any advice or anything of the sort, my name is Bernie Lawrence, number one realtor. Thank you so much. Take care.